Andrew Yang has this new feel, I think, a new message of optimism. At least that's what it sort of sounded like in his rally at Minnesota that I just saw the video for. Um, yeah, he needs to he needs to be president like right now. I had a bad day at work today. Um, it's a job I don't really like. It took it just to have health care. You know, I run my own business, but I'm just not, I guess, savvy enough to have it make ends meet. So I had to take a job just for health care. And I had a bad day at work today. <laughs> and it just made me really wish that, God, I wish the Freedom Dividend were in effect and Medicare for All were in effect. I'd be running my business and doing a lot of music. Yeah. But I hear the message of optimism in Andrew Yang's latest rally, and it's, uh, it's comforting. Here's a here's what it is. If you haven't heard it, <laughs> I have it on my phone. Let's turn up the volume. I'm just saying the big theme is that you can feel bad about what's going on in this country, but at the moment you feel like you're doing something about it, you feel so much better. You feel like this weight lifts, and that's only what this campaign will be. This campaign will be a way forward for the people of this country to start doing the work of rebuilding our communities from the ground up, from people up, from communities up, from families up. That's where we need to go in this country. So that's, uh, that's kind of new, hearing him talk kind of in generalist, optimistic tones. I mean, that's what politicians do. Predominantly, what made him unique was that he goes right into the problems and the specifics of how he's going to solve the problems, which is sort of his claim to fame. And uh, I'm, I know he's not going to lose that, but it is nice to hear once in a while his, his optimism and, uh, and his hope for, for us, basically. Um, I'm looking on his website on the Medicare for All, and that final paragraph just really, really hit home for a day like today. We had a crappy day at work. It says, finally, being tied to an employer so that you don't lose your health care prevents economic mobility. It's important that people feel free to seek out new opportunities, and our current employee-provided health care system prevents that. I love playing music, and I think I could entertain people. But I don't necessarily want to make my living that way. I just want to do it. So, Andrew Yang, we need you as president, like yesterday. <laughs>